mastering king of the hill chess, the significance of peace sacrifices to centralize your king. Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed chess enthusiasts, today we delve into the fascinating world of king of the hill chess, a variant of the classic game that adds an exhilarating twist. The objective is not merely checkmate, but to crown your king by reaching the center of the board. In this lecture, we shall explore the strategic importance of peace sacrifices in facilitating the centralization of your king, a pivotal aspect of mastering this dynamic variant. Centralization is a fundamental principle in chess, emphasizing control over the center squares as a means to exert influence and mobility across the board. In King of the Hill Chess, this principle takes on heightened significance as the ultimate goal is to navigate your king to the center, thereby clinching victory. Peace sacrifices, though seemingly counterintuitive at times, play a crucial role in achieving this objective. First and foremost, peace sacrifices can create pathways for your king to advance towards the center unimpeded. Sacrificing a pawn or a minor piece may open up lines and diagonals, paving the way for your king's advancement. By strategically sacrificing material, you can clear obstacles and create a corridor for your king to navigate through enemy territory, safely reaching the coveted central squares. Furthermore, peace sacrifices can disrupt your opponent's defensive setup and seize control over key squares. In King of the Hill Chess, opponents often employ defensive formations to fortify the central area and impede the opponent's king's progress. Sacrificing a piece can shatter these defenses, forcing your opponent to divert resources to address the threat and thereby creating opportunities for your king to advance. Additionally, sacrificing a piece can lead to a favorable exchange or gain in tempo, thereby enhancing your position while simultaneously advancing your king. In the pursuit of centralization, sacrificing a minor piece or even a rook may compel your opponent to make concessions such as relinquishing control over critical squares or compromising their own king's safety. This exchange of material can tilt the balance of power in your favor, facilitating your king's journey to the center. It is essential to recognize that not all peace sacrifices are created equal and prudent judgment is required to assess the risks and rewards. Sacrifices should be calculated and based on sound positional principles, such as the value of central squares, the vulnerability of the opponent's king, and the overall harmony of your pieces. Blindly sacrificing without a clear plan can backfire, leading to a weakened position and leaving your own king exposed. In conclusion, peace sacrifices are indispensable tools in the arsenal of the king of the hill chess player, serving as strategic instruments to centralize your king and clinch victory. By sacrificing material with purpose and foresight, you can clear the path disrupt your opponent's defenses, and pave the way for your king's triumphant ascent to the center. Mastering the art of peace sacrifices in King of the Hill Chess requires a delicate balance of calculation, creativity, and positional understanding, but the rewards are well worth the effort, so dare to sacrifice and lead your king to glory in the heart of the battlefield. Thank you.